going to be an interesting fight here in the heavyweight division. Chris Knowles had a great performance last fight and uh, ended up getting knocked out with one body shot. Took the fight from him. He was doing really well up again up until then against Ramazan, a steward and student of uh, the legendary Ernesto Host. And here we have in the in the white corner, Philip Verlinden trained in Golden Glory with the legendary Ramon Deckers, who we have here sitting beside us. Very lucky to have Ramon Deckers here with us tonight. Thank you very much. All right, let's check out the tail of the tape for this uh, Group B men's heavyweight matchup. Verlinden is four years younger than his British opponent, a little taller, and both uh, weighed in the same for this uh, Group B matchup in the Muay Thai Premier League. And as we saw, as I said before, all of the heavyweights have won by knockout. So, you mean, you know, if another knockout happens here, you're getting almost an automatic ticket to the uh, to the semifinals. Both of these boys have big power and great speed and timing. So we'll see what happens here tonight. All right, my fans, here we go. First into the white corner. He weighed in at 94.1 kilos. He stands 189 centimeters, age 28. From Belgium and fighting out of Gold Glory and Bulls Gym. Uh, his record, 38 and 6. 17 wins by way of knockout. This man was the 2009 WKA World Champion and 2010 IFMA World Champion, presenting Philip Phil Verlinden. <laughs> and across the ring, weighing 94.1 kilos, standing 185 centimeters, age 32. From London, England, he's fighting out of Minotaur Gym with a record of 33 and 13. Eight wins by way of knockout. This man was a 2004 IFMA World Champion and a 2010 UKMF British Champion. Introducing Chris, the Gentle Destroyer, Knowles. Your referee for tonight's fight, Yosef Aknik. So, Ramin, how does it feel? I mean, being a legend of Muay Thai, one of the first from Holland to fight on full Muay Thai rules, to see Muay Thai now here in Holland again with full Muay Thai rules. How does that feel? A little bit strange, because I never saw it before. And, uh, but it looks really good, you know, to see those guys fighting with elbows again. And now you've got one of your students and uh, for fellow gym mates uh, in Philip Berlin in the fighting here tonight. Uh, has he prepared very hard for this fight? He's preparing always very good for his fights. You are hearing uh, the voice of eight-time world Muay Thai champion Raymond Deckers, one of the, the greatest Muay Thai fighters in history. And I think I'm the safest man in the building. To my left, I've got Ramon Deckers. To my right, i got a former five-time world champion, Clifton Brown. And, of course, in the ring, we are seeing Chris Knowles against Philip Verlinden. And, of course, uh, Raymond, you know that th there is a, a real rich history of, of Muay Thai here in the Netherlands. Uh, talk about the Dutch style of, of Thai fighting, how it differs maybe to what people are used to seeing from Thailand. It's totally different. What is it's the biggest a, difference? The biggest difference is that uh, we fight a lot of champions against each other. You know? uh, so we got a lot of good pro trainers who are former very good train, uh, fighters. And in terms of technique, is there is there a difference in the style, like in terms of what weapons are used mainly here in, in the Netherlands? Especially the low kicks, of course. Yeah. Something that you were very famous for. I mean, you used all of your weapons. Well, you know, did you find it more challenging as a fighter to fight in Holland or in Thailand when you were in your prime? Yeah, I think in Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it was something new, you know, because uh, no, nobody fought ever before in Thailand, in opinion, especially uh, so many times. Yeah. Knowles with a left elbow. What? Uh, how has uh, Berlinden looked in camp for this fight, Remo? Sorry? How has he looked in camp, training camp for, for Philip? Very because good, he's a very, very dynamic good. fighters we're seeing here. Yeah, we train a lot of uh, on the elbows, especially the knees also. Using his flying knee there and his high kick coming back, uh, Chris Knowles really aggressive yeah. on his counter as well. He's looking very good, you know. Yeah. Because he's a very experienced fighter. What are you doing these days, Ramon? Teaching? Teaching, private lessons, seminars. Had something like the MPL existed when you were fighting, would this be something you'd be interested in, in fighting a tournament style against other top fighters? In my days, there were no for the tournaments. Yeah. A very aggressive start here in round one. Berlinden, of course, scoring a first round TKO win over Martin 
Yawn back in the first event in Long Beach, California. Knowles coming off that loss to Ramazan Ramazanov of Russia in Padova, Italy, but a very entertaining start to this fight with 30 seconds left in the opening round. Both of these fighters fighting extremely hard, no one giving anybody any quarter. As soon as somebody lands something, the other guy's right on him immediately trying to get those points back. Very good fight, good matchup. Jumping knee, a flying knee attack there from Verlinden. Just missed and countered with a great low kick there by Chris Knowles, almost kicking him in the butt. Nice combination. Good right elbow. Yeah, catches him with an elbow right at the bell. Great first round, very, very full of action. Yeah. Take us through uh, some of this action here, Ramon and Clifton. You guys can share. What are we seeing here on the screen, Ramon? What did you like about Verlinden in this round? He's watching very good. He's watching an opponent very good. He's waiting for an opponent for, for an opportunity to put, make his knees or his, his right elbows. Definitely, he was looking for all of the openings and hitting them. Close the distance with his hands. Landed some big shots. You can see it. Nice high kick. The one thing that I'm very impressed about Philip Verlinden for a heavyweight is he mixes up his weapons very well. High kick, low kick, knee, elbow, and his hands. And Knowles acquitted himself well in the round as yeah, well. He had his moments. Knowles actually, I mean, he was really, really aggressive in that round, landed some good combinations as well. And you can see every time that Philip landed something on him, Knowles was countering as well. So good fight. Taking a look at uh, the action coming up later. Here's Marco Pique, as we said, interesting preparation for this fight, training with his arch rival, Nicky Holskin, to get ready for his big fight with Ali Gunyar, fighting here at home in Holland. Big It'll fight be the today. Rubber match between those two, and it will be for the WMC Intercontinental Middleweight title. So five rounds of action scheduled for five coming up in tonight's main event. Uh, what are your thoughts on Marco Pique, Ramon? My thoughts, uh, he prepares himself very good every time, so we have to wait. Wait and see what transpires later tonight as we are set for the second round. Verlinden comes out quickly. So does Knowles. Seen a lot of uh, some conservative fighting here tonight, though, too, Ramon. We know Muay Thai, you know, beautiful and brutal sport, the king of martial arts, and, and yet the heavyweights are really bringing it. Earlier on in the show, uh, it seemed like a lot of people more fighting to win by points and not necessarily going for the knockout. That wasn't uh, that wasn't the way you you approached the sport, was it? Uh, because for me, it was very difficult to win on points. So the only way to win on was by, by, by a knockout. So. Is that something that you teach at Golden Glory for all the fighters to be looking for the knockout, or is it something that you say, if it's there, you take it? We try to mix it. Yes. Yes. Try to win on points or knockout. But we try to mix it the combinations. So you can knock somebody out or win on points. Well, this one, very entertaining round here as both of them exchanging combinations. Knowles wrapping up a combo there with a kick. Verlinden No coming forward, straight left hand. Pace slowing down a little bit. I think the heavyweights are getting a little bit tired. I mean, they're going at a very, very high pace. What is uh, Verlinden's best weapon, Ramon? What's he known for in the gym? His condition and also his, uh, his timing. It's very good. Oh, spinning back elbow there from Knowles. Verlinden stalking him right now. Knowles still hitting, though, every time Verlinden steps in. Verlinden's got to pick up the pace a little bit more right now. I think he's giving away a little bit of too many points to Chris Knowles right now. There you see Verlinden mixing it up with those elbows as well. Now coming forward, slashing elbow strikes, and Verlinden all over Chris Knowles in the corner. A cut there. Oh, and another big elbow there. Is that him? Very good timing, you see it? Yeah, all about the timing. And he's cut him. Big cut down. Knowles catches him. The champagne uh, catch and sweep, is that what you call it? Exactly. Big, huge cut there on the left head, left side of the head there of uh, Chris Knowles. And Verlinden looking to get in on it and hit him again with another big elbow. 
What are the biggest improvements uh, you've seen over the past few months in Berlin? Did we talk about the timing and conditioning and everything. Is there an area that you have seen him really improve in, in terms of technique? Yeah, because he trains a lot with all the, all the famous uh, heavyweights you know, in our gym. So he's really improving right, right now. Getting his confidence higher yeah, and higher. Yeah, yeah, getting better and better. Very entertaining second round here in Den Haag, Netherlands. Beautiful counter right hand there off that low kick. Great, great fight thus far, really action-packed. Here we can see Philip Berlin stalking uh, Chris Knowles landing that big overhand elbow. Countering every time, I think this is the point right here where he's getting it back into the rope, this is where he gets him with that big elbow and cuts him open. Big elbow, two, three elbows follow with that left hook. And yeah, I think what? I think about the second one. The yeah. second one got him. And what's interesting between this, and this is something I noticed that you did very well as a fighter, is that you use momentum from weapon to weapon. If you throw your right, your left is coming immediately, then follow with your kick. Yeah. There's Ali Gagnar preparing for the main event tonight, WMC Intercontinental Middleweight title fight. He will be facing Marco PK in their rubber match. Each has defeated the other, and this time it's for the WMC Intercontinental Middleweight title. As we said, there's a lot of bad blood between these fighters, and so much so that Marco Pique and Nikki's Holton, which also had bad blood, decided to train together to get ready for their fights tonight. So it's going to be a very action-packed fight between Ali Gunyar and uh, Marco Pique. And I guess the best thing you can say about that cut to Chris Knowles uh, is that it's not over the eye, which, you know, it's on the, the oh, top of the head there. Near the, it shouldn't really bother him in terms of his vision in this fight. I don't think so. There we go, blood in the commentary booth. It seems right. to be the, the regular every thing for week, the MPL. Every show. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to send them your dry cleaning bill there, Ramon. <laughs> Explosive right. start from Knowles in this final round. Belinda trying to respond in kind. Knowles doing a good job circling away from the ropes. Berlinda wants to cut off the ring, keep him there. It's a great fight. Very, very good matchup between yeah, the most guys. Very tough fight. Yeah, the most action-packed fight of the night. Oh, big right hand. Both are very in very good condition also. Yeah. For heavyweights, indeed. And using all of their weapons, good combinations at all times. Yeah. And this is something that I've noticed before, and I said it before in, in previous events, is that with these heavyweights, a lot of the time they've had to fight guys much bigger than them. Now at 95 kilograms, I think it's a good weight for both of these guys to perform at their best. Yeah, I think so. Anything you'd like to see more out of uh, the fighter you know well in uh, Philip Verlinden here in the final round? Well, what kind of technique? I mean, he's done a great job, but so is Knowles. Uh, what do you think could be the difference in this fight? I think I think you have to keep on going, you know, like in the first first two rounds. But the, the other guy is taking over now, right now. He's got to keep his pace higher and keep his work rate going. Yeah. And yeah. I agree with you. Straight right hand catches Knowles. Oh, yeah. another big one. Knowles comes back with his own right uppercut and inside leg kick. Body kick from Knowles. Body kick oh. from Verlinden. Follows it up with a straight right. Less than a minute remaining now in the fight. Will it go the distance? These two are looking to knock the other one out. Nice knee from Verlinden. Action-packed fight. The crowd is totally into it as well. 45 seconds left. What was your favorite technique in your legendary career, Ramon? I know the low leg kicks, but what was your what 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 was the one strike that you left like hoop, to finish a fight? Left hooper, right hooper. Body, body shots. Uh, oh, beautiful high kick there. Oh, oh flying knee. Flying knee from Berlin and Knowles drops his hands momentarily and Very pays good. for it. 
Linden looking to close the show. Got on the left eye, right eye. Nice push kick, good timing. Another flying knee from Verlinden, really wanting to close this in emphatic fashion. Terrific heavyweight tilt here in Den Haag, Netherlands, part of the Muay Thai Premier League. What a fight. Fantastic fight. Great Probably job. Definitely the fight of the night. I got to give a hand to that one there. For sure. And I uh, want to thank uh, eight-time World Muay Thai champion Ramon Deckers for dropping by and visiting with us. Uh, you have to be impressed with the performance of uh, Philip Verlinden in this fight. Very good fight. Very good fight. Well, thank you very much, and uh, congratulations on a tremendous career, and uh, good much. luck in your future uh, teaching the next thank generation you. of Muay Thai fighters. El Wapo Basrun says hello, by the way. Say hello for me, too. Okay, <laughs> All right. You. Thank Take you, care. Ramon Deckers joining us here as we are going to go to the uh, replays here. And what was a very entertaining scrap? Definitely the most exciting fight of the night. Uh, these guys used all their weapons, their punch, kick, knee, and elbow, rocked each other, didn't give any quarter, back and forth. Hard to say who won this fight. I mean, you know, there were times when both fighters had domination, and it's going to be interesting to see what the judges scored as. I mean, this was a, one of the best fights, another one that might be nominated for fight of the year. When you look at damage, it's written all over Knowles' face, but he also had his moments. And uh, the one thing about Chris Knowles, win or lose, he always puts on a show. That was a great fight. That was an absolutely great fight between these two guys. So lots of great action. There's that push kick that dropped Knowles. And our ring announcer, Chris Gregory, standing by with the official decision as Chris Knowles and... Philip Verlinden go the distance here in Den Haag, Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. Judge one scores about 30-25. Judge two sees it 30-27, and judge three has it 30-27. All in favor for the winner by unanimous decision. In the white corner, Philip Verlinden. Sweet Philip Verlinden <laughs> gets another two points. The to Chris five Cole. points in. Group B of the MPL's heavyweight division, and while Noel suffers his second uh, straight loss, uh, he's the kind of guy that you, you want to have on a card because he always brings it. Well, you can't be disappointed with his performance tonight. That was an unbelievable fight between both of these guys. Philip Verlinden landed a little bit more telling shots. We talked about damage. You could see the damage on Chris Knowles, and I think that's what the referees looked at. That score there of 30-25, I think, was a misread. It was 30-28 there but still a great fight between both of these fighters. I mean, that definitely is a, a nomination for fight of the year. So Verlinden picks up his second straight win here in the MPL, and the victorious Verlinden will be talking to our own Sonia Cooling right now. Thank you, Philip. Look, that was a great, fun action fight. Both of you giving and taking as much as each other. Now, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. The first round was not so good. I got a little bit stuck, but then uh, I loosened up the, the, the last two rounds. He was coming in really strong with his leg chops there. It looked like uh, you were a little bit hurt for a bit. No, I wasn't hurt from it, but uh, uh, it took me a little bit out of my uh, system, but I wasn't hurt from it, uh, not at all. So with a, with a victory of a knockout in LA and um, another great victory today, you pretty much ended Chris's hopes for um, a semifinals, and how do you feel about that? Yeah, I'm sorry. But uh, if it isn't me, it has to be someone else, so... <laughs> better you than someone else. <laughs> yeah, better me, yeah. <laughs> One more thing, I want to thank all the fans who come to see me. Oh! Well, they came here.